So this is a fragment of a once truly magnificent Safavid carpet. It was woven under the reign of Shah Abbas in the first half of the 17th century. Shah Abbas was particularly renowned for encouraging the arts. He used these as ambassadorial gifts. That's when the West woke up to their truly fantastic color and design. In 1999, at the International Conference of Oriental Carpets, it was suggested that perhaps these fragments came from two separate carpets, woven as a pair, but essentially two different pieces. However, since that date, we have discovered more fragments, which would suggest that actually this was one magnificent single carpet. This would have once measured nearly 15 meters in length. Every dye that is used is a natural dye, and we have almost 17 colors within this small fragment. I think my particular favorite has to be this almost oculus eye-like flower head that punctuates the center. There's so much movement going on in just that one flower head. The pattern is based on a three-plane lattice, which is quite a complicated cartoon for the weavers to work from. One is blue, one is ivory, and one is pink. Every time the weaver finished a particular dye batch, she would re-dye the wool. And obviously it's not coming from a bottle or a, a formulation, so it has a different consistency each time. And this creates this undulating tonal difference within the colors. And this is what we look for in hand-woven, hand-dyed carpets. This was, until very recently, in a private English collection for almost 100 years. This probably is the last piece to appear on the market. We know from placement of the various palmettes that we can connect it to a recently sold fragment that was once part of the Rothschild collection. In the other top left-hand corner, it connects to the fragment that's in the Louvre. And at the lower part, we have a partial ivory palmet, which connects to a fragment in the Berlin Art Museum. Interestingly, it also is the mirror section of the fragment that is in the Musée du Tissu in Lyon. So it really does have very good neighbors. So in 1976, Dr. May Beattie, who was a revered academic in this field, coined the phrase bars carpets simply because they featured these tessellated or mosaic patterned Chinese style vases. The other fragments that remain are in varying states of condition. This is in phenomenal condition. The colors, the pile, look as if they were woven yesterday. 